Did you get one of these? Oh yeah. This is uh, last year. The abolitionists rose up and presented to the Republican Party of Texas to place abolition of abortion on their plank, and it passed. Okay. Wow. Okay. So then we had a Republican legislator here in Texas just this past spring present HB 948, the bill to abolish abortion in Texas, which would have made abortion illegal in totally Texas. in Texas. Okay. And also says that if the feds try to interfere, we will ignore the feds and defy them. Okay. Because murder is not allowed here. And unfortunately, out of all the Christians in Texas, we had less than a thousand show up to support that. Yeah. So that's why we're here to exhort our brothers and sisters to loving good works and to repent of their apathy, to actually treat the unborn as God's word declares that they are. So what is the next step? What is it? What is, well, what is the next it? step is right now we have a, a, a governor, an abolitionist governor, okay. running for governor in Oklahoma. Okay. Okay. Um, we have. Where well, we got like 11 states with bills pending, and we're gonna try again here in Texas. See that that number right there? This is an old sign. That's only two. That's two years old. Now it's over 60 million. You know, um, and unfortunately, we ask Christians, and that's why we come. We come. Where do we go? We go. We go to the people that are watching disgusting movies and ask them for help or do we go to brothers and sisters in the Lord who actually if they believe in the Word of God know what God's Word says about them that they're image bearers and that over 3,000 of them every day are murdered seven days a week so that's what we're doing we're, we're just we're asking people what is your what does your Christianity look like in a culture where over 60 million babies have been murdered if that building, that apartment building right there was burning to the ground and there were children in the upper floor screaming, help me, help me. Would our response be to them the same as it is for the unborn? What is the solution though? See, that's what I'm asking. The solution is, see, it's, well, the solution is that we abolish abortion, abolish human abortion. But see, I'm not here to say, you know, you need to go to the clinic or you need to come stand with I can't tell you that. I, all I can tell you is when you repent, when God opens your eyes and you repent of what we're doing to his image bearers, he'll tell you what, what you should do. I got a friend of mine. Um, she's a real good friend of mine. She's a Christian woman, but she's got this hang up with uh, the way black people are treated. She's black herself, mm -hmm. right? So she's always putting on Facebook these uh, certain things like uh, she put a, a video out there recently and it was a, an effective video showing a uh, a bunch of people on the line that they were going to have a race and this guy said hey we're going to race for a hundred dollar bill he said but here's what we're going to do to begin with i'm going to make some statements if these statements apply to you take two steps forward and he went about saying things like uh if your parents are still married take two steps forward mm -hmm. if um you grew up with a father figure in the home take two steps forward and you know after so many statements you look back and all the white people are in the front all the black people are still on that line back there mm -hmm. And he's basically making this uh, analogy that says, "Hey, they've got a head. You've got a head start here, and it was not your own doing. And all those guys that are back there, right? They still have to run this race. And it was a, it was, it was a good point. I saw the video and I thought that made a good point. Mm -hmm. It shows, it shows clearly what what the deal is. So when I went to my friend, was the one that posted it, and I said, "Hey, and I asked you this. You know, it was a good video. It opened some eyes, right? It's going to open some eyes." Here's what the guy didn't do, right? He didn't tell us what the solution is. Mm -hmm. And she looks at me, she goes, well, what do you mean? I said, well, what's the solution? Because if, you, if, you, if you're you know, honest with yourself, right? Um, until Jesus returns, racism will exist. Hmm. All sin will exist. All sin will exist, exactly. So I asked her, what's the solution? Mm -hmm. It's the gospel. Mm -hmm. So we need to preach the gospel, mm -hmm. right? We need to preach to those. Yeah, and I agree with you. I, Abortion is murder. I, I agree with you. We, we need to go preach the gospel to those mm -hmm. and hit those places where, you know, young ladies are going in um, and try to stop them. But see, we're, see, it's the thing. A lot of people say, oh, you guys want us to go to the clinics. We are not abortion clinic focused. Do we go? Yes. Okay. I've been doing this full time for four years now. Okay. Do we go to the clinic? Yes. But I also go to the high schools. 
We also go to the town squares. We also go in front of churches. We go wherever we're supposed to be. Okay. Because going, to, saying you're, you're focused on the clinic, okay, you're dealing with people that are already, for the most part, um, determined to murder their child. Yeah. They already made an appointment. They already made arrangements to somebody to drive them. They already went and got the money. They already, in a lot of cases, um, have their pastor saying okay. We have their family supporting them. Oh, you wouldn't, okay. wow. oh you wouldn't believe it. Okay. So you're dealing with people that are ready to murder. Okay. So we preach the gospel there. But we also go and preach the gospel at the high schools. You know how many we have stopped before they even got there? Okay. So, yeah. I, but, and, but I can't tell you. I mean, this is what we do. Yeah. I can't tell you. So believe me, if you, re, if you actually look at yourself and, and measure yourself according to Scripture and what God's Word says regarding innocent children, and like me, you know, I mean, five years ago, I was like, I'm pro-life. That's a good moral opinion. But what does that look like? What does that translate into? Yeah. Okay? Faith is a verb. Right? Have you ever heard that before? I've heard that. Yeah. Faith is a verb. So what exactly does the fruit of your repentance look like? Now, your fruit for repentance of this, yeah, that's fine. That, But now, if you actually repent of your apathy towards children, because I hate to tell you, most Christians are ageists. Just like they're racists. Well, they're ageists. Yeah. yeah they don't go to the elderly. Well, the elderly, but not only elderly, they don't look at the baby in the womb the same as they look at that girl right there. Yeah. Killing a baby in the womb is the exact same thing right. as killing that girl. I believe it. But yeah. most Christians don't look at it. You know? Oh. That's why they support 20-week bills. Okay? Oh. So, you know, what we tell people is, you know, this is between you and God. You repent. Once you repent, God will show you all kinds of things to do. I mean, there's a billion and one things to do. I had one guy standing out here talking to me saying, well, why aren't you at the clinic now? Why aren't you at the clinic now? Say, I'm only one person. I can only do so much. Thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. I, I got to get in there with my people, man. All right. God bless you. Thank you for talking with me.